Welcome to our own. We are so grateful for it. You need a house to be healthy, and we had black mold in our old house. And my dad, dad was just, oh, uh, it wasn't really, it was very, very bad for him. So he just needed the house. So this is what I was faced with with my, my family. I, um, well, I have emphysema, bronchitis, asthma. Yeah, I, I catch, uh, because of these, I catch pneumonia regularly. So like, as opposed to just getting a common cold. And apparently that scars your lungs too. So, I mean, you can be diagnosed whatever you want. I, I know I have a problem breathing. But in the meantime, if anything happens and I pass away, my family, she's gonna have to go out and get a job. She can't afford a house that we had. The utilities where we were were ridiculous anyways. So I was against a wall and I had nowhere to turn. So I actually, I don't usually ask God for personal things. This is about my family, this wasn't about me. So I asked, I asked for help. And lo and behold, in the paper, turns this ad that Habitat were looking for a home. And I thought, oh my God, it was a sign to me. The Nolans were in fact the last family to successfully purchase a home from Habitat for Humanity. Their home was actually the 2007 Great Cup home. The Habitat for Humanity Toronto dismantled the home and offered it to the Habitat of Durham, where because they didn't have any law to place it. And now the recipients are the Nolans, the lucky Nolans, who own the now former Great Cup house. Ken is on disability. Um, and disability does qualify as being part of our home ownership program. And the reason that disability qualifies is because it is a solid, stable income. Um, we do also sell homes to people that are fully and gainfully employed but are still not making a ton of money, but they are working. Mary Bone is part of Habitat for Humanity, a charitable organization whose mission is to mobilize volunteers and community partners in building affordable housing and promoting home ownership as a means to breaking the cycle of poverty. Her location in Ajax holds a ReStore facility that receives donations from different people such as builders and other homeowners. They resell these items back to the community and the profit they receive goes into building funds which provide homes for the families in the low income cost of living scale. Yeah, I think the Habitat for Humanity restores are a great idea and I would rather come here first before going to a big box store to see what they have. I heard about Habitat basically from the television. You see, you see the people on television and you hear about it from the ads. That's where I heard about it and I finally looked it up on the internet and made the phone call and, uh, and that's when I discovered that they, they had this opportunity to work in these stores. And these stores make the money that funds the building sites. It's a, it's a nice circle and these stores play are a very integral uh, part of the, the overall plan. Durham Region has, the last count I believe that I heard was about 3,600 families on the wait list for nonprofit housing. Um, to get on into a nonprofit house you have to be in dire straits and um, if it's emergency shelter that you're looking for it's very difficult to find in, in Durham Region. It's hard to find affordable rental units in Durham region. So although they're out there and there is a lot of um, you know nonprofit and um, cooperative housing units in Durham region, there's still a huge need for it. We you know having a, a wait list of 3,600 families is just not good. So anything we can do to help um, affect that continuum would be great. You meet a lot of interesting people and they're, they're good people. Everybody here, we have fun, we soon get to know each other and, uh, and it's fun working for them because we've got such a diverse set of people. You've got the, the older people, retired folks, you've got the middle-aged, uh, you get housewives up there just bored and have some time and they like to volunteer, do a little bit of work. And, it, we've got heavier work for the younger and stronger, and we've got uh, easier work up front uh, managing the store part. So we've got something for everybody. We can all have fun. This is built 
uh, primarily by volunteers and the community, um, which it's really built with love and laughter. So the houses are really tremendously well built. Uh, we make sure that we're following building codes. We have to follow building codes. We have to have inspections just like every other builder. Um, we have a tarry on warranty program that we have to have like any other builder. So we really have to be very focused on ensuring that this is a quality home that's been built. Um, the families partner with us by giving us 500 hours of sweat equity. So instead of putting a down payment on the house, they give us actually time and labor and they help us with the homes. The very first memory was when it wasn't even built yet and we came and we checked out the yard and everything and we were checking out the surroundings and the area of it before it was built. A memory is when we were building the house. I wrote, um, I was lucky enough to go to the side and I was allowed putting in my own brick. It was kind of heavy. And then after um, a guy wrote my name on it with pencil, but it's like wearing off now. But I still know where it is. It still is an amazing experience. Uh, when I sit here at this table, uh, you know, I, I, I remember Frank and, and Fred putting this wall together and stuff. I mean, everywhere in the house, every corner of the house, it relates to people, not just, a builder didn't build this, and I don't know who he was and his helper. I know who laid the floor. I know who put that bathroom door up, and I'm still condemning them. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, it was just, it's full of memories and love. It's, it's basically, I cannot say any more than that. I was at my old house for 12 years and to move away from all my friends, but it was great because I brand new house and everything, start off new, meet new friends. You know, we got as good a chance as anybody. We might as well try, right? If we don't try, we'll never know. Even as we were building it, it was just extremely, it's like, it's even better than the 649 winning it because it, 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 it involved humankind and, and kindness and people coming together. This isn't, it wasn't a monetary thing. You know, money comes and goes. You don't get, uh, what's involved in this is, uh, it, it's people just helping other people out basically is what it starts out as. Whether other companies come on and all. The, the issue is it's a mankind helping mankind, you know. I see. It can be piled in the soil and it can grow into something beautiful like a tree or a flower. For the Nolans, it was a foundation for a home planted by the volunteers of Habitat for Humanity in the soil of 618 Dean Avenue in Oshawa. And that will fester into a beautiful home for them that will create a lifetime of memories. Thank you for watching. I'm Nigel Mendoza.